Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shade using the multiply setting in Abyss Paint X. So firstly you're going to want to draw something that you'll be shading. I am just going to grab, let's say a skin tone. So I'm going to do a circle of skin tone here. And then I'm going to grab a few more colours so that I can show you that it works in any colour. So here I grabbed a few more colours and they're all in these little circles. Now what you're going to want to do is make a new layer above the one that you have the flat colours on. So this is my flat colour layer and this is the one above it that I'll be using for shading. Go into the settings here and click on multiply. Then you're going to want to lower the, lower the opacity of your layer. Now while this will already work quite well for shading because it is on multiply, you're going to want to grab a shade of purple close to this, or this, and then use that as your shading colour. So for the skin tone, let's just do, let's say some shading here, and it really looks quite nice. You can edit it, of course, by making the opacity higher or lower, depending on what you want to do. Bear in mind that you might want to fiddle with this setting for different colours, or maybe even grab a slightly different shade of purple. Definitely experiment. So I have just used the same colour for all of these, and on some of them it is less visible, like this pink over here. So what you're going to want to do is click on Alpha Lock and fiddle with the shades of your purple. Let's make this purple a bit darker to make it more prominent on the pink. And then it shades better. You can also try this out for the other colours that you have. Honestly the best thing is to experiment with the different shades that you have and see which ones you like best. The reason I've chosen purple here is because it just works best with shading, it still gives a bit of a warm feeling. Whereas if you use something like, let's say, black, it looks kind of gritty and while on some colours it works nicely, it's overall better to have the more warm, glowy feeling. That is how you shade with the multiplier layer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to support my channel by leaving a like, commenting or subscribing. Bye!